Do you test your reef aquarium and how often do you test? Are you testing manually or do you have another way of testing your aquarium? Now, testing your aquarium is very important to know exactly what is going on in your aquarium, to know the water chemistry of your tank. So we test for things like calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium when we are keeping corals and especially when setting up a new tank, when going through the nitrogen cycle, you wanna test for ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. Now, a lot of times we test those using hobby grade test kits that you can find at your local fish store. Now, my preference for test kits when it comes to testing calcium, alkalinity, magnesium would be Salifert test kits. Those are a trusted brand of test kits and I've been using them for years. But in today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at Reef Kinetics ReefBot Lab. This is their newest brand of automatic testing for your reef aquarium. And what sets it apart from other automatic testing devices on the market is that you can test for much more than calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. So right off the bat, you can see that the new ReefBot Lab is a different design from the original version of the ReefBot. Now, the ReefBot that I have is version two of the original ReefBot, and it kind of looks like a computer that sits next to or underneath your aquarium. The new ReefBot Lab here has an enhanced design and some advanced features to it. Now, it includes 12 vials for more testing options. Now, the one that I have currently only has eight slots for you to fill up um, to test for, so this gives you a few more tests that you can use with the 12 vials versus the eight. Now, when you use a ReefBot, or in this case, the ReefBot Lab, Certain test kits use more vials than others. Some will use two, some only use one, um, and some use three. So having those extra slots is a really big advantage when it comes to adding multiple test kits to your reef bot. Now, looking at the design, you can see that um, it's it's taller than the other reef bot. It's more of a hexagon design, a cylinder shape, and the syringes are in the center of the ReefBot Lab and it rotates around the vials and you can see how the vials are situated in there. Um, very similar to how you slide it in the original ReefBot. However, with the new ReefBot Lab, there's also new vials that you can get that will allow you to put more um, reagent in there for your test kits so that you can test for a longer period of time without changing out reagent. Now that does require you to buy more reagents to fill up those vials um, but with that, you are able to test a lot more. So what sets this apart from other automatic testing devices on the market? Well, things like the uh, Triton from Neptunes and um, the others on the market, they use very specific reagents for uh, calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium, and they test mostly for those big three. The ReefBot gives you the advantage of testing for really whatever you want to test for. So let's take a look at what parameters um, this ReefBot Lab tests for. So the most common tank parameters, uh, including alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, nitrate, nitrite, phosphate, ammonia, copper, iodine, iron, pH, high, low, and wide range. It also does potassium, uh, silicon dioxide or silicates, oxygen, test, you can test the O2, you can test CO2 or carbon dioxide, uh, chlorine, bromine, and general hardness of an aquarium. So what's really neat about Reef Kinetic is they are constantly adding new test kit brands um, that work with your ReefBot Lab, and they're always uh, testing and developing new brands so there's a lot of use and capability of having a reef bot a lot of benefits to having a reef bot lab as you can see here you can test for multiple parameters so maybe you're going through uh, the beginning stages of your reef tank you want to set up um, ammonia nitrate and nitrate and you want to schedule those out and that's a big thing with the reef bot is that you're able to schedule hours daily weekly and monthly and you can set those tests up so that your reef bot is automatically doing that. You don't even have to think about it and then you will get a notification that says, hey, uh, the reef bot has completed a test and you can look at that test result on your phone using the app. 
Now we can all agree that manually testing your tank is not that difficult to do and it really doesn't take that long um, if you're testing for a couple different tests but what really happens though when we go to test our tanks is maybe sometimes we don't write down the the results of our test um, so we're not really keeping track of it or we can't test our tanks consistently at the same time on the same days of the week or if we're trying to find a trend that's developing in the reef tank as far as um, consumption of like the calcium alkalinity magnesium and you're trying to find trends in your testing every single day it's a good idea to test those parameters at the same time every day so that you get an accurate uh, trend line of what they're doing um, and a way to do that is by using an automatic testing device like the ReefBot Lab because testing that manually sometimes we get distracted and we don't always test at the same time or a lot of times we forget to do a test and having it set up in a ReefBot Lab to do it automatically for you gets rid of that distraction and forgetting to do a test you can just schedule it and receive the message on your phone okay so back to the website the reefbot lab features uh, these are some of the features of the reefbot lab it monitors your tank parameters the reefbot lab uses a reagent based method to autonomously measure the levels of your parameters in your tank and it currently measures 18 parameters which we've already mentioned with more parameters added regularly. We've talked about that. Supports multiple brands of test kits. So right now, my favorite brand, like I mentioned at the top of the episode, is Salifert. So um, you can use Salifert test kits in your ReefBot lab. It also supports Elos, Red Sea, Geisman, Tropic Marin, Fauna Marin, API, JBL, Sara, or Sara, Aquaforest, Nios, monitor uh, nt labs colombo and more um, changing kits is a simple or changing kits with this is as simple as selecting a brand and a parameter on your phone or on the web application and it the app is really really easy to use um, and i've showed that off in a prior video as well but currently i'm using salifert to test for alkalinity and i'm using the Red Sea Magnesium to test for um, the magnesium in the tank. So currently using that in my ReefBot version 2, I'm taking up five slots. Um, so having a ReefBot lab, you get those 12 versus the eight. Um, so you can already see how you can get uh, a little bit more testing out of the ReefBot lab. What's new with the ReefBot lab versus the original ReefBot? the design with new mechanics that offer enhanced performance and faster results. So that's exciting that the ReefBot Lab is gonna give you faster results versus the original ReefBot. However, when you are doing these tests, you may or may not be home while the ReefBot is performing a test. So while this can test faster, which is great, um, it never bothered me how slow or fast the ReefBot version 2 uh, came up with the test results because you just schedule it and your phone will tell you when the test is done. So I didn't see that as a problem before and it's exciting that um, you can get faster results and, and enhanced performance out of this new one. Uh, reagent slots, of course, the ReefBot holds 12 reagent slots versus the 8 from before. It has a brand new actuator uh, that's faster and more reliable um, with a wider res resolution um, than the original ReefBot so more accurate more precision uh, testing right here supporting um, pre a precision of 0 0.001 microliters so super precise the way you access the reagent allows the needle to reach the bottom of the vial for maximum reagent usage uh, so that's great. You can get more tests out of uh, one test kit than you could before. So that's really awesome. Um, a reset button gives more flexibility and control over the lab operations. Um, of course, already mentioned that the ReefBot Lab runs faster. Um, reduced water consumption and simplified calibrations. Um, so the dosing syringe precisely adds sample water 
minimizing water usage and the need for frequent calibrations. Um, so that's, that's really good. I like that. Uh, even though the app will tell you when your device needs to be calibrated. Uh, so I really didn't have much issues with calibrating um, a lot or it telling me that I need a lot of calibrations. Um, usually once you make it through, uh, it's like 60 tests on one syringe. Um, and then you change out that syringe. Um, you can tell it to refill your RODI water container or well, you refill the RODI container and then you let it know when it's full. It will tell you when your waste container is full and then all you have to do is empty that, go into the app, tell it that it's empty and that's how it knows and monitors those levels. It says here, effortless upkeep with user-friendly hardware test accessibility via the mobile app. Uh, maintaining your ReefBot lab is a breeze. And it really is. Using, using the app, it really tells you when something's up with a reef pot, um, if you need to change something out, when you need to calibrate things. Uh, so that's good. The app is really easy to, to use, really intuitive. I really like the app and I really like the functionality of the reef pot. Now, many years ago, I should have done the research before I put this up on the screen, but years ago, there was talks and articles of an automatic um, water testing device that was going to be at local fish stores for hobbyists to have access to. So you could go to the local fish store, bring your water sample, put it in the automatic tester. It would test it and give you your results while you were at the store versus going up to the people working at the store and having them run a test for you. Um, however, that never panned out. It disappeared, went off the map and uh, was never in any local fish stores that I've been into. If you know about this device or the name of it from back in the day, leave me a comment um, in the comment section and uh, let me know what it was called or if you've ever heard of that. But having a ReefBot lab takes care of that because now you have the automatic testing at your home and you can run pretty much any test that you're gonna need for your aquarium with your ReefBot lab. So that's exciting in itself. So yeah, it's a little investment up front. Uh, this hobby seems to go like that. Um, getting a tank and your rocks and your sand and your aquarium stand and everything is an upfront investment. But once you get it going, it is very, very beneficial and pays for itself over time. So under compatibility here, it says that the ReefBot Labs advanced mechanisms allow for more compatible test kits. And I'm I guess this is all the test kits combined it current currently with 130 compatible tests that's a lot so many different brands to choose from so if you have your favorite brand already you can check the list here and see if the reef bot is uh, currently compatible with that brand and they probably are um, the reef bot runs quieter it's more silent um, they're trying to keep the testing experience as smooth as possible that is one thing that i noticed with the reef bot version 2 is that you can um, hear the machine operating it's not quiet at all so for the reef bot lab to be a lot quieter that's exciting in itself so easy setup on any tank and absolutely a hundred percent it is super easy to install once you uh, sign in with your account name and everything it uh, finds your reef bot like right away and then you're ready to go it says the reef bot lab can be installed on any tank by simply immersing the inlet tube in the tank and connecting the two tubes to the rodi so yes you have to um, connect a, a water line to your tank and you have a water line that goes to the rodi container and uh, one that goes to the waste container. So for the containers, I just have a one gallon container for the RODI and one gallon container for the waste and I've marked each of them. So I know that this container is only for RODI water and this container is only for waste water. Um, it connects through the internet. Uh, any Wi-Fi uh, connection will work as well. So you're brand new to the hobby get an, an understanding of testing first um, i would say understand what your tank needs as you're still learning what to test for if you're a little more advanced in the hobby and you're looking to automate your test um, set up some redundancy on some test kits definitely look into the reef bot lab and the really cool thing is if you use the discount code 
the coral reef talk at checkout whenever you purchase your reef bot lab you will save fifty dollars on your purchase and you'll you will get 12 60 milliliter vials free as an upgrade to your order so you'll get the larger vials and fifty dollars off your order by using the code the coral reef talk at checkout so visit reefkinetics.com pick up a reef bot lab use the code the coral reef talk and that will definitely save you a little bit of money get you some upgraded vials for your testing but what is included um, with the reefbot lab so in the box you get one reefbot lab you get 12 glass vials you get the power supply an extension cable uh, you get three uh, two milliliter um, silicone tubes you get 15 magnetic stirrers, one calibration kit, 12 vial labels, five needles, five sampling syringes, and two dosing syringes. Uh, no matter what side of the hobby you're on, saltwater or freshwater, the ReefBot Lab is just the tool that you need to test your aquariums automatically and get notified whenever your test results are in, schedule them out, so that way you don't have to remember to manually check them or to constantly check them or maybe you're out of town and you need to get a test result done. Remember, you can schedule them um, daily, hourly, weekly, monthly. So I hope you enjoyed this overview of the ReefBot Lab. If you enjoyed this video, then I know you're going to like this video right here. Go ahead, click or tap your screen to watch that. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing here on the Coral Reef Talk and I'll see you in the next one.